Hi, my name's Tyler Vincent. I'm 31 years old. I'm a husband and father of two, and this is my Survivor audition tape. Instead of just sitting there this year for three straight minutes talking about how and why I could be on Survivor, I kind of wanted to more show y'all this year. So this past week, I got my wife to take a few videos of me living my normal day-to-day -day life, and I wanted to explain how those things could help me win Survivor. And plus, I'm just a storyteller. That's the person I am, and I think I could better convey my personality if I told a few stories instead of just sitting there telling about me. But before I get to that, I kind of wanted to explain something that happened this last year that really affected my life. So this is my little brother Gage and his then six-month-old daughter Aurora. And last October, Gage was shot and killed. And as you can imagine, this was just very devastating for me and my family. And I just kind of thought I'd be doing a disservice if I didn't at least mention this because this is just one of those life-changing events and moments that makes you rethink and reevaluate your whole entire life and completely change, you know, how you do things as a husband, father, and as a person. Anyways, as you can see, this is me and my kids jumping on the trampoline. We like to go outside and do this a lot, especially me and my son. And as you can see, I'm still pretty athletic for an old man. I feel like this is one of the main reasons I would win Survivor. I feel like I have a great advantage over most people when it comes to the physical competitions. I played football, baseball, and tennis my entire life, and I've done a pretty good job of staying in shape as an adult. But let me tell you all a funny story about these hoverboards right here. And... Let me just say that anyone that can stand up on one of these hoverboards is definitely agile in my book. So it was the Christmas party this year. And since me and my wife had purchased our first home, we decided to have everyone over for Christmas. Well, my cousin was in from the Navy and, you know, it being a family Christmas party, he had had a little bit to drink, but he deserved it. You know, he's out there protecting our country. But anyways, me and him went to the back in our bathroom, and I was trying to show him some of the kids' Christmas gifts, but I was like, oh, man, look at these hoverboards. And I got him out, and we were in our bathroom, but I was like, we got to be extra quiet because if Rachel, my wife, hears us, she's going to kill me. Well, he's standing there just bare. I'm having to hold him up, and he's like wobbling back and forth on this hoverboard just like that. And all of a sudden, Rachel comes to the door. I'm like, oh, no, she's going to know we got it. Well, all of a sudden, he goes to shaking, and then out of nowhere, his feet are in the air, and he just, bam, hits the ground. Well, next thing you know, the door comes swinging open, and sure enough, it's Rachel, but she just couldn't help but laugh just like the rest of us were. It was just one of the funniest things you could have ever seen. So I think my ability to stand on that hoverboard proves I'm agile enough to sneakily find an idol. But next, I wanted to talk to y'all about my favorite hobby, and that is, of course, playing video games, especially now that I'm a little bit too old and it's a little bit too dangerous for me to play sports. Um, well, when I'm by myself, when I'm playing by myself, I like to play my PlayStation, my Xbox. I like to play Call of Duty Warzone, a little bit of MLB The Show, NCAA football when they had it, but... When it comes to me and my family, we usually play the Nintendo Switch. We'll get out and we'll play Mario Party, Mario Golf, Mario Kart, pretty much Mario anything. And even before that, at a very young age, my grandmother had me doing memory games and puzzles. And I just feel like this is another big reason why I would win Survivor. Not only do I feel like I would have an advantage in the physical competitions, I feel like I would have an advantage in the puzzle games and the memory games too. But also, I feel like it would just make me a great strategist overall in the entire game of Survivor. By the way, I am most definitely... A super fan I've been watching since I was 12 years old season two in Australia which by the way is still my favorite season so as crazy as it sounds even more than the money I just want to be part of the game survivor I love games games are a big part of my life and this is the game that I want to be part of more than any game that I have ever wanted to be part of like I said though when my little brother passed away it just kind of made me reevaluate my entire life and about six months after he died, I put in my two-week notice with the Postal Service. I was with them for three years and with the water company four years before that. But I just kind of wanted to take a chance on myself. Um, I play poker on the side, another game that I like to play. And I kind of wanted to do poker for a living. But seeing that I live in an estate where gambling is illegal... I had to supplement my income doing waiter, DoorDash, driver, and things such as that when I wasn't able to be out playing poker. 
but the whole poker thing hasn't quite worked as well as I'd hoped it would, so I'm probably about to have to go back and get a normal job, you know, and I'll never give up on myself, but I have young children in a family, and I just need to make sure that they have the things that they need. I have worked very hard for everything that we have. Nothing has ever been given to me or my wife. Eight years ago when she told me she was pregnant with our son, I was living on my grandmother's couch. I had no phone, no car, or no job. But I told myself that day that my wife or my children would never go without anything they needed. So three months after that, I had us an apartment. Four years after that, I rented us a home. And seven years after that, I bought us our first home. And I could not be more proud of me and my wife. I come from a very poor family. My dad was in prison and my mom was a single waitress growing up. I mean, she did the best she could, but if you want me to be completely honest, I've pretty much been playing Survivor my whole life, so there's really not anything that this show can throw at me that's worse than the things that I've been through in my life, and that's why I feel like that my life has prepared me better than most for this show. And even if y'all don't pick me this year, I promise I will keep sending in videos every year for the rest of my entire life because I will never give up on myself. And yeah, even if I never make it on the show, I'll be okay. But I just wish somebody would take a chance on me because not only do I feel like I could do good for myself, I feel like I could just do a lot of good for the world in general. Regardless of what happens with this, if you're still listening to this point, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for just taking a little time out of your day to hear a little bit of my story. And I just hope nothing but the best for you and yours, and hopefully you'll see me on Survivor.